Hello everyone! Oh, oh my god, in the video! <laughs> How do I want to start this video? So there should be an intro in case I don't do the intro. This I guess is the intro. We'll see how fucking lazy I am. But today, in case there's no intro, today we're talking about they're called cherub cubs, but I call them cherub chubs. So I'd like to state that in the beginning of this video in case anyone wants to give me shit like you know you know I don't know anything about called they're called cherub cubs. I know they're called cherub cubs, but I have a nickname for toys and it's called the cherub chub, okay? It's cuter, they're fat, it's recording, awesome. I thought I was talking to myself, but I am talking to myself, but then when I put it on the computer, I'm so not talking to myself. <laughs> I'm trying to get into it. It's really hard to get into it, okay? It's <sighs> but anyway, like I said, we're talking about the cherub chub. The cherub chub. Chub. Before we talk about the cherub chub though, now hopefully this works out. You can see this is the ad for the cherub chub. Everyone's seen this. This is online. Everyone knows this ad. But before we talk about the cherub chub, we have to talk about the chubby tubby. The chubby tub. We gotta talk. Everyone knows this ad too, so I, I do my best here with the iPad. There's a reflection and shit in the window. So please look these up online if you really want to know, because I'm gonna be referring to these, but they're they're on my web they're both on my website under the catalog section. They're like the first two right there. Before I say anything else, let me just say this. This video would not be possible, and all the information and stuff that I was looking up would not be possible if it wasn't for at Gigi's Dolls. I'm going to link all her stuff down below, her Instagram and her blog. She amazingly offered me this blue cherub chub, which is the only one known in its, its existence. Now there are other cherub chubs. So as we see in the ad of the cherub chub, look it up on your phone, we see that there is brown, black, and blue, and white cherub chubs. Now, we've seen the black and the brown ones before, but we've never seen a blue one before. So if it wasn't for Gigi, we would not, I would not own this amazingly beautiful sky blue cherub chub. So thanks to her, I have to shout out her. I really do. So thanks, Gigi. And because of its beautiful sky blue color, we wear blue, you can't even see the whole outfit. We wear blue to celebrate the occasion of the blue cherub chub. Let's go down. Woo! There you go. There's the whole outfit for today. Me and Cherub Chubby want to match. Woo! So this video is not fact as it is more so conversations I have with my friends because my friends and I talk a lot about toys more than anyone realizes like all we talk about every day and sometimes we get into these really deep conversations and we like to guess about mysteries of toys and one became the cherub chub because once I got him I just started thinking why do we never see these why are they so rare and I don't know, all of our thoughts that came out, so I thought it might be fun to make a video and share with you guys some of the things my friends and I talk about. I didn't really know if anyone cares. I thought, do I even need to make a video? Like, I don't know. Would anyone be interested? But we'll see how it does. If you guys like it, maybe I'll make more videos of what my friends and I, Isa, what my friends and I discuss. So this is one of those videos. Again, these are just our thoughts. Um, based off of research and what we see online on eBay in people's collections So hopefully you will find it interesting and then you also get to look at cute toys, too One of the things we notice is that well black chubby tubby bears are on eBay all the time almost uh, Most collectors I think kind of have a black chubby tubby in their collection. They range to different sizes They're not rare black chubby tubbies are everywhere. So I was like, well, why what happened to the cherub chubs? You know bla the black chubby tubby had its own ad, Toy of the Year. And I'm gonna read you some things um, that I think would be interesting. So, the Black Ch Rushton's Chubby Tubby Bear. This ad right here. The Rushton Company and the Atlanta Playthings Company point to the Chubby Tubby Bear as the most popular item in their 1952 line of at play toys. So, Chubby Tubby created in 1952. Designed by White Rushton. Something interesting, Mary Rushton apparently did not design the Chubby Tubby, it was her daughter White. Something that I guess I kind of glanced over, so hopefully you guys learned something interesting too with me. Oh my god! <laughs> to have won instant 
approval from the nation's toy buyer. So this pretty much, this is some of the earliest, this is, um, I feel like Chubby Tubby is maybe their, again, we're just guessing, uh, Chubby Tubby is Rushton's maybe first rubber face toy and or it at least became the most popular rubber face toy, the first most popular rubber face toy that they created that white designed. Well, actually, let me just rephrase that. It says designed by White Rushton, so maybe she designed it uh, on paper or something and her mom sculpted it for her um, because we know later that Mary Rushton for sure was the one designing and sculpting the faces and then making molds of them. So I'm not sure, I know White uh, Rushton worked with Mary um, in the company designing and making toys. I don't know if she actually had the artistic talent to sculpt the faces herself or if she just came up with ideas and then her mom made them. But either way, Chubby Tubby was a creation by White Russian. Whether it was actually designed by her or not, we're not 100% sure. I would assume so though. But did she actually make the face, like, you know, sculpt it? We don't know. And then we move on to the next ad, which is this one, the Chubby Tubby ad. Here's the number one plush toy of the year. Recognized by buyers, praised by the press, wanted by the public. So the first ad being uh, Chubby Tubby went to the toy fair and was loved by everyone and everybody loves Chubby Tubby. The second ad is like a full page ad that they probably took out trying to advertise their Chubby Tubby um, because it's really popular and everyone wants it and everyone has one in their home. A white Rushton original creation and then telling you what it's made of. So already it says, already in just a few short months, America has taken Chubby Tubby to its heart. So apparently the Chubby Tubby became so popular, designed in, did I say 1952? So like in a whole year, then 1953 comes around. And then, because Chubby Tubby was so popular, we come up with the Cherub Chubs. My thinking is that Chubby Tubby was so popular in 1952, they decided to come up with the next big thing, which is gonna be a huge seller. It's the Chubby, it's the Cherub Cubs. The Cherub, the Cherub Chubs. So to take out an entire ad like this, advertising the chair of chubs, assuming it's going to be the next biggest thing, they're gonna make a whole bunch of money from it because not all of Rushton's toys um, had entire ads on them. There's lots of toys made by Rushton that we don't see, we barely see, Cherub Chubbs being one of them. But the fact that Cherub Chubbs has their own entire ad page is interesting because we never see them, you know? Chubby Tubby, we see all the time. He has multiple ads, but what about Cherub Chub? He has a full ad too. It's gonna be the next bit, it's awesome. They're so cool, everybody wants them, right? Big hits, it's exactly like the Chubby Tubby, just smaller and in different colors with wings. Like, why would you not want the Cherub Chub? How come we don't see them? They barely exist. They're an almost extinct species, so all y'all with Cherub Chubs out there need to meet up with other Cherub Chubs so they can breed. It's like that one sad video um, of that one tortoise giant turtle looking thing. It's a turtle, it's some kind of turtle. I'm not an expert in this, but I saw it. He's like the only turtle of his kind to, to exist. He's like the last one in the entire planet and there's no other turtle for him to breed with. So when he's dead, he's just gonna die and then that's the end of the species. That's kind of like how I feel a little bit with the chub, like quick, get them together. We need babies. Like they all just like flew away, like they were created and then no one loved them. They all flew away into the heavens with their wings and they have their own society and shit up there and they never came back. But then there were some that were like stuck in a box or something and they were trapped and then they couldn't get away. So now we found them and we have them and they're my prisoners because they can't get away and be with their own kind. They're the, la they're the last little fallen angels of earth and we have them. <laughs> you ain't getting lucky tonight. You're lucky if a girl even exists. So the thought was, why are there so many chubby tubbies and there's no cherub chubs? They were made around the same time. They were made like a year after the chubby tubbies. So what happened to the Cherub Chubs? My original thought was that they were made once, they were produced one time, and then that was it. There's a lot of Russian toys that we barely ever see. Like there's one rooster in particular that I've only seen like maybe two, three times. Um, I don't know, but they're not that big of a deal. You know, I've never seen them before. It's, it's more so the fact that Cherub Chub had a whole ad on him and they're hyping him up to be the next big thing and then he just seemed like he wasn't. And we base, I base that off of how come we never see him. 
but we see the chubby tubbies. Now, maybe there's a simple answer for that, but here are all of our thoughts. Maybe the cherub chub just wasn't a big seller. Maybe no one cared about him. Maybe he wasn't like big enough and snuggly enough. People like the chubby tubby. Usually because he's just a regular looking teddy bear. He's big, you can hug him. Snuggle, kids like to snuggle. Can't really snuggle. The cherub chub is kind of tiny. At a time, I became extremely fixated with the wings because they're actually rubber and you never see Mary do this ever again. She does wings on her toys later, but they're always felt. And then with the feet and the little paws, they're plastic. And on some of the other cherub chubs that collectors own, you see that they're felt. So her making plastic on paws and wings and then her changing some of them to felt made me wonder if it was like a plastic issue. Maybe they didn't have enough plastic or maybe there was just an issue, like was it too hard? Was it too much work to do all this plastic, like sewing in these plastic wings? Just a thought, I'm not sure. Maybe, you know, I thought maybe kids were chewing on the wings, you know, were hanging them and swinging them by the wings. They probably rip off. And that's another thing I want to discuss. People might say, well, um, maybe the reason why there's not a lot of cherub chubs or that we think we're not seeing cherub chubs is because they're cherub chubs, they just don't have the wings because they were probably ripped off. But I believe cherub chubs were only made in these tiny sizes, that's why they're cherub chubs. Um, also, I thought maybe they were, like I said, maybe too difficult to make because if you look at the bodies on them, now comparing these, this older one to a lot of her later work, the body on this is so good. It is done so well. These legs are different. I feel like these big like drumstick legs with these plastic wings such in, in such a compact little size like this I just feel like and I'm not trying I'm not insulting Mary or anything because I love her and all her work and her work is still better than any other rubber face toy companies out there I feel like her older stuff though sometimes was definitely better than her later stuff and maybe it was just easier for her to make the other toys that she started making but these I, they just they are so much better. There is so much more work put into them with the plastic, the plastic wings, these legs that stick out like this, and they're so tiny. I thought maybe they were just too difficult to make and or maybe people didn't really want to buy them and or maybe it was just a one-time run. You know, toys gotta like keep it moving, keep it new, keep it fresh, you know, gotta come up with the next new toy, the next new big thing. Maybe the Cherub Chubs really didn't take off. They didn't take off. From coast to coast, like the ad says. If you read the ad, that I, I didn't, I wouldn't have had to have mentioned the ad, but I don't think people would know that I'm making a joke. Kind of, they didn't take off from coast to coast like they were supposed to. They just didn't do well at all, and then that was maybe the end of them. And or, like with a lot of stuff, maybe people might say they were really popular. And that's why we don't see them because everyone wanted them and everyone bought them and then eventually toys end up in the trash because most toys end up in the trash and so very few survived because they were so popular because if they were so popular i think we'd see a lot more in the market there'd be a lot more out there a lot more in people's collections um and we probably would have seen them in future ads and or future catalogs because chubby tubby was around for a long time he was so popular he just like stuck around and there's so many of them so based off of those kind of thoughts so these are my thoughts for the Cherub Chub. And or maybe, because we don't have a lot of Rushton's older ads and catalogs, I'm sure they're just gone and thrown away in the garbage. Maybe there were more ads on the Cherub Chub and we just didn't see them and we'll never know and we'll never see them. So it's a mystery forever. Even though Chubby Tubby isn't being advertised, maybe in paper ads or catalogs, on Rushton tags, that come with the toys, even if you bought like a Molly Cottontail or whatever, the tag it comes with, which a lot of times is this tag, you can see that Chuck Tubby right there is still being advertised inside of the tag that toys come with. Based off of all of that information alone, because that's all I have to work off of, Chubby Tubby's been advertised for a very long time. Uh, I think even up until 1960. I'm, I'm guessing, but he's been around for a long time in those little uh, tags that other Russian toys came with. Um, I just think that the Cherub Chub just didn't do well. I think they made them once, maybe twice. I just don't think they sold well. And then that was kind of it. They just disappeared. Don't worry, little Cherub Chub. You can still fly from coast to coast, just like your ad says. Go be free.